So today we're doing a quick one, two, three cardio. It'll be about 20 minutes. We'll do 30 second rounds. And yeah, light weights, a little towel or blanket, and we're good to go. So before we get started, let's take legs apart wider than hip distance and do some hip circles. And then go the other way. And then just a little bend in the knees, side, side, tap, tap. Just step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Stand up, be really tall from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Now add a little arm right here, go arm, arm. So it's the same leg that you're bringing over that you're reaching the arm forward. I know you're like old school aerobics, I love it. All right, come back to those hip circles. Raise the arms up, lean a little to one side. Come back and up and over to the other side. Shake out your arms. All right, let's grab a light set of weights. I'll show you the first four exercises so, because we'll, we'll roll through them pretty quickly. So the first one is a wide row. It's a wide press to a narrow press. I wrote it down wrong. It's a wide press. So you're gonna start here, um, weights or whatever you have right at your shoulders. Elbows are in, and you're just going to take it up and down, and then turn so that your palms face each other, and take that up and down. And then we'll just go side to side, so it'll be out, in. And then your legs, you just want to have a soft bend in your knees, maybe feet hip distance apart. Your next exercise will be a weighted squat. It doesn't have to be really deep. You could also do it without the weights. You could have weights here. You can put them right here at your waist. I don't like that because it makes my shoulders feel not great. Or you could hold them just right here at your hip joint. And then your third exercise in that round will be front kicks. So whatever you don't want today, kick it out. And if you don't want to kick, just do a little toe tap to the front. So just a little bit of shifting side to side. This is really good for agility and hip stability. I almost said stagility. Hmm, stability plus agility. So that'll be a little front kick there. And then your last one, your little cardio here will be skaters. There's a few different ways to do these. So just starting out, you do step, tap a toe behind, like a little curtsy. You don't have to go deep in that front knee. And then a little deeper would be more like here, adding arms here. And you can always go down if you want to a little further. Just be mindful of knees. Keep the hips really um, facing forward, so not really turning back with that hip, keeping the hip forward. And then also nice and tall through the spine, hips, uh, shoulders over hips. All right, so let's do round one. I'll remind you of those as we go. They're 30 second rounds. We've got wide to narrow rows. So not rows, presses. <laughs> All right, so we're here. You could have a stance like this. You can have one foot forward. Sometimes that feels more stable. And I'm taking my arms up as straight as feels okay, but sometimes it might feel better to have them a little bit in front. It really depends on what's going on with your shoulder. Three, two, one. We're moving right one. to that weighted squat. In. So it's just here. Or set the weights down, do it without. Just a little squat. Just for 30 seconds here. So I'm not leaning really far forward. I'm not doing like this kind of deep squat. I'm just working right here. And I hear my knees saying, hello. Good morning. Three, two, one. I'm gonna keep my weights in my hands and I'm just gonna do that little front kick. Remember, you can do a toe tap. You could even just do a little knee lift. But you can really press it out through your heel. If you're doing the kick, you want to have a soft bend in that standing leg. Just want to kick it out. Now, if you want to, you can add opposite arm. Woo, woo. What do you want to push through today? Good morning. Break up workout. Two, one. All right, now you've got those skaters. So remember, step, little toe tap, step, toe tap. If you want higher impact, you can hop and hop. If you want low impact, you add the arms or just swing the arms or keep them on your hips. I'm gonna do a little hop here just because I wanna get my heart rate up a little bit more. 
Remember, arms do not have to come to the party. You do not have to go deep. Just try to keep your Three, hips two, in line. All right, one. take a little break. Shig it out. Good job. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna go the next round and the next round, and we'll come back and do all of it again. So your next round is wide narrow bicep curls. So you just take them out wide and then forward. Wide, forward. Next exercise in this one is a weighted warrior balance. So I'm gonna take a little bit to show you how this one works. First option, now I've got my weights and you wouldn't have to. First option, lean a little forward, tap a toe back. And see how my shoulders, hips, and toe are all in alignment. It's like a little seesaw, teeter-totter. Okay, and then if I want more, I'm gonna go up a little bit more. That standing leg is strong, pressing down through all four corners of the foot. The hip flexor is, the hip joint and uh, hip flexors and all the muscles that support that hip joint are active. And then if you're going to go further, then I really like to have the weights and I let my arms just hang right under my shoulders. And that's it, we're doing one leg and then in the next round, we'll do the other leg. So for the whole 30 seconds, we're gonna be here. That's your second one in that one. Your third move in this next circuit is kick back, kick back. So what you wanna do is lean a little forward, have an angle from your hips to your shoulders and just kick back, kick, 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 okay? And then the last one in this round, your cardio here is a little blanket hop. Now, if you're feeling really energized and you like to jump, you can jump, just land lightly or you can just do a little hop over, hop tap, hop together, hop let the knee hover. Find one of those that works for you. All right, here we go with wide narrow bicep curls. Begin. Now, sometimes for bicep curls, it's nice to have a little bit of a heavier weight. <clears throat> In fact, I'm gonna switch mine real quick. And you really wanna squeeze at the top, squeeze. Have your belly button hugging towards your spine and nice, tall posture here. So just out and in, wide Three, to narrow. Two, okay, you've got that one. weighted warrior balance here. You're just doing that one leg. So you're just gonna lean and be wherever you are. So you might just be here or you might go a little further. So check where your hips are and if that back leg is kicking way open, it will impact your balance. You could do this totally without the weights. Three, two, one. Good Begin. job. Back kicks. So just kicking to the back. Back, back. Soft bend in that standing leg looks like this. A little hinge forward. I like to bring the opposite arm forward a little bit when I'm kicking, that gives me a little bit of balance. Doesn't have to be super high. And you could also do a toe tap. Lean a little forward, just do a toe tap. I love these 30 second rounds because they go by so fast. Three, two, All right, one. you have those Begin. hops here. So just a hop. So I'm gonna do more of a balance hop here. I'm gonna do a little hop. I'm gonna hover with my knee. So bring that opposite arm up helps. I'm just gonna do a little knee hover, but you could be here. But now I know that blanket's there, you're just working your way around it. If you don't have a blanket or a towel, no worries. Just do a little side step, a little step touch. Three, just like two, this. One, begin. All right, this next round we have tricep kickbacks. So I like to lean way over so that my elbow can be really close to in line with my shoulder. And then when I get here, I'm almost parallel to the floor. You could also have a split leg stance. All right, so just tricep kickbacks there. You really wanna squeeze at the top of that, at the extension there. And then the next round is a wall sit or a chair. So a chair would just be stationary here. Again, we're not leaning way forward. Belly button toward the spine or wall sit. I'm actually gonna use the window. So you're just leaning against the wall, getting the quads in, involved. 
and then side kicks. So we got one all the way around here. Now, if you don't want to kick, tap, 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 tap. All right. And then your last thing here that you're doing is a little shuffle. So it's just going to go one, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. I'm going like about the length of my mat. All right, that's your round. Tricep kickbacks to start it off. So I'm just leaning forward, going here. My neck is long. So I'm looking down sort of at an angle to the ground. I'm not cranking my neck up. Breathe. You got this. Wake up, work out. Three, two, one. All right, you got in. that little wall sit. So find where you can lean back against a wall, slide down, and hold it. So feet about hip distance apart. Just watch that your knees are tracking kind of over your toes, shoulders back, breathe. Use your core, long spine. Breathe in and out. If you're not doing the wall, you're just here, static hold, breathe. Hands can be here or here. Three, two, one, begin. Side kicks here, whoop, whoop. What do you not want? Push it out or tap, tap together, tap. Maybe a little raise, a little raise. So we're working on balance and agility. It's really keeping the torso in the center and just letting the legs go out. You really wanna extend through the heels. So it's more of a press than like a kick, not like a jarring kick, but the work is in the extension of that leg Three, and pressing. Two. One, begin. Good job, shuffles here. And it's just shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Maybe it's just two. That works better for me. Shuffle, shuffle. You can tap that foot or let it hover. Good job, you made it through all three of those. So if we do all, all three blocks again, it's probably gonna take about another 12 minutes. So I think what we'll do is maybe, we'll just go back to the first round. Actually, we'll go to the middle round because we need to do the other leg on those um, warrior balance. So we'll just do that middle block again. So that's gonna be the wide narrow bicep curls, the weighted warrior balance, kicks to the back, and hopping over. So grab your bicep curl weights, and here we go. It's a wide curl, it's a narrow curl. To the side, now if you're here and you're like, I hate that cardio round. Well, <laughs> you know, don't judge yourself for that. Just sit that round out, it's only 30 seconds, right? Because this other stuff kind of feels like cardio too. We're doing it so fast. Just really basic. Agility and strength training. Three, two, one. Weighted warrior balance on the side that you didn't do before. So remember, you can be here. You can just tap that foot back. Or you can work your way up. You just want to have mindfulness <clears throat> that that heel, hip, and shoulders are staying in alignment and that you're not cranking your neck up. So a little gaze down to the floor. Slight bend in that standing leg. Go at your pace. You do not have to go as fast or slow as I'm going. Three, two, one, begin. All right, back kicks here. So just back, 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 and kick. That other arm coming forward will help you with balance. Gaze down at the floor, kick, kick, kick. And you're really reaching and extending. Use that glute. Press through the heel. Press through the heel. Three. You got this. Two. One. And you've got the weight get hops. And then you're done. Doop. Doop. So remember, I'm doing this sort of as an agility thing here too with balance. But you could just sidestep. Side tap. You gotta lift that foot up. So, or you could do a full-on hop. Most people that I work with. Do not like doing the hop. And really, I don't recommend, well, let me not say that. Three, two, one. Good job, yeah. shake it out. 
And that is your wake up workout for today. Let's stretch it out, bring those arms up. Reverse the clasp of your palms, really reach. Imagine you could lift your rib cage up away from your hip points even more. Breathe in, let it out through your mouth. A little side lean here. Inhale to center, side bend here. Couple times both ways. Let your heart rate come back down. Good. Shake it out. Take a bend in your knees. Hands right on your thighs. Let your head hang down. Kind of give it a little roll, like a half roll. Ear toward one shoulder, ear toward the other shoulder. Come back to center, drop one shoulder toward the middle. And switch sides. Switch sides again. Smile, you did it. And coming back up, sweeping up. Nice big stretch, let's take the arms behind. Clasp, roll the shoulders down. If your arms don't clasp, reach for wrists or elbows. Slip bend in your knees, really open up that heart. If you want to add a forward fold here, you can. Make sure you're not jutting your chin forward. Breathe in, bend the knees, start to roll round. Not really round, go down with the straightest line as you can. Let your head hang, shake it no, not a yes. And really let those shoulders fall out if that feels good. Let it out with a big sigh. Release the arms and just kind of let them hang like elephant arms. Sway side to side. Bring your hands back right above your knees. Press your heels into the floor. Press your hands into your thighs. Reach and raise up. Reach up overhead. Bring your hands right down your heart. Have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed your wake up workout.